mm -hmm. on Hunter Biden's artwork. Mm -hmm. Did the White House play any role in crafting the sales agreement with the New York Gallery um, to protect the, uh, the purchasers or the ultimate purchaser's identity? Well, I, I can tell you that after careful consideration, a system has been established that allows for Hunter Biden to work in his profession within reasonable safeguards. Uh, of course, he has the right to pursue an artistic career, just like any child of a president has the right to pursue a career. Uh, but all interactions regarding the selling of art and the setting of prices uh, will be handled by a professional gallerist adhering to the highest industry standards. And any offer out of the normal course would be rejected out of hand. And the gallerist will not share information about buyers or prospective buyers, including their identities with Hunter Biden or the administration, which provides quite a level of protection and transparency. The right. gallery owner is a private citizen who might not be privy to who might have some interests in purchasing this artwork. <coughs> is the White House doing anything to work with the owner to make sure um, there's not impropriety there when it is ultimately sold? Well, I think it would be challenging for an anonymous person who we don't know and Hunter Biden doesn't know to have influence. So that's a protection. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Um, on this call this morning with the Russian president, did President Biden discuss at all the Taliban delegation that was in Moscow yesterday? Uh, the, the focus of the call and the conversation, which I can tell you was about an hour long, was really primarily on these two topics. I can see if there was anything in addition that was raised, and I can follow up with you after the briefing. And then on the um, Afghan translators, mm -hmm. um, does the, the president believe he has any executive authority to determine where these Afghan nationals await their visas? I know that the president said yesterday you guys are working closely with Congress, mm -hmm. want to know what that looks like. Um, but in addition, does, does he have any influence on where they wait out this time period for their visas as he similarly exercised with immigrants at the southern border by ending the Remain in Mexico policy? Well, it's a different program, obviously, which I know you're, you're conveying. Uh, and what we are trying to determine is U.S. facilities and bases that are located in uh, different parts of the world uh, where we can house uh, these brave and courageous individuals while they're processing continues. Uh, so that's what we're determining. We have not made a final determination of that. We're trying to also protect for security and operational reasons uh, what that may look like, even when a final determination is made. So I would see it as a different type of a program, and uh, but those are the considerations. And it's already law, so we are, we are in a position where we can uh, make a decision to, uh, to relocate individuals from Afghanistan to these third-party countries.